The job of a Los Angeles County supervisor is never ending. Individual here. Just about every minute of the day is budgeted for meetings and various official events. But no matter how busy Mike Antonovich happens to be, his family is always his top priority. You know, he's, he's, he's so busy. His schedule, you know, most is full, but he try keep the time with the kids, watching them. But the fact is he's there. You know how many politicians aren't there when the kids play? They aren't there, and kids remember that. Mike's about making sacrifices, and for Mike, the balance means that if it means that something that Mike may want to do personally for himself, he puts that aside. Forward, Jim. On this particular Saturday afternoon, Mike, his wife Christine, and son Michael Jr. are cheering on 11-year-old Mary Christine Antonovich as her team, the Limonators, take on the mighty glow sticks. And in no time at all, Mary gets a shot past the goalie to take an early lead of one to nothing. Later in the game, Mary scores again with a penalty shot, and the Limonators go on to win two to nothing. And Mike was lucky enough to be there and see his daughter make both goals. But life was a lot different for Mike Antonovich when he was growing up in South Central Los Angeles. Today, uh, children are involved from uh, seven days a week in all types of activities. And when we were growing up, we were basically left to our to ourselves. So it was just uh, go to school, study, and play with your friends. Mike was born in Los Angeles on August 12, 1939. He's the middle of three children of Mickey and Francis Antonovich. He has an older brother named Greg and a younger sister named Madeline. And the Croatian roots come from his father's side of the family and can be traced to Lustovo Island and this old house in Konable. Today, Mike Antonovich is a consummate politician, but it seems that he showed interest in politics at a very young age. Probably at the age of four, he would sit in the chair, kick his feet, because Michael was always very short until he got into high school. Turn on the TV and uh, watch the political you know, ads when it's election time. And then he would quiz my mother and father. Two questions who you vote for, and then how come. One of the more influential people in his life was his fifth grade teacher named Sarah Schaefer. Because she was such a positive uh, influence in my life, I became an educator because I wanted to be a, uh, a teacher in her, in her role, in the way she was able to motivate other students. After graduating from John Marshall High School, Mike Antonovich joined the Army to fulfill his military commitment. And along the way, uh, Mrs. Schaefer followed me the entire time of my life. So she, she kept up with me uh, in every grade I was in, and when I was in the Army, when I was in college. And she is the one that said that I ought to be running for this public office, which occurred when the Los Angeles Community College Board of Trustees was formed. Needless to say, in 1969, Mike ran for the LA Community College Board of Trustees and won. And in 1972, he ran for the California State Assembly and won again. Well, I had the opportunity of serving with Governor Reagan for his last two years as governor. Uh, we had a relationship, a friendship. While he was in the California Assembly, Mike Antonovich rose to the important position of the Republican whip. In 1978, I ran for lieutenant governor. I made a decision either to move up or move out and go back to teaching if I was not going to be successful for that position. And I, I lost the primary to Michael Kerb. You know, when Michael lost uh, to Mike Kerb, you know, a lot of people would have gone home. It's over. I'm not going to do this anymore. Uh, it was not an easy campaign, but Michael found a place where he fit better. During his tenure as L.A. County Supervisor, Mike Antonovich has become one of the most respected and effective members of the board. I'd say, first of all, he's the dean of the Board of Supervisors. He's been there quite a long time, and he still has the fire in the belly, and he's ready to take on important issues. The reason Mike has been re-elected so many times is very simple. 
And, you know, with Mike, you know what you get. You know where he stands. He's not wishy-washy on the issues. You see a lot of people that talk one way but do something differently and I think with Mike you know what he believes and his actions reflect that. Um, I believe that the 5th district is probably one of the better represented districts simply because we have a man who leads by example and allows his staff to take leadership roles. He, he can be a demanding boss but demanding only that he demands excellence for the constituents. But perhaps the biggest reason why Mike Antonovich has been re-elected so many times is that he delivers on his promises. Well, we rebuilt the Olive View Hospital. That's operating today. I had the new courthouse built in Antelope Valley, and that's providing the needs of the people in the valley. Mike's involvement in the community is legendary. He truly cares about his constituents and responds to all their needs and requests. From an emergency like a wild brush fire or a fundraising event in the Croatian community, you can count on Mike Antonovich for support. Uh, Mike Antonovich is a true great friend of the Croatian community and has been uh, helping uh, not only Libertas Foundation in the fundraising uh, efforts, but all Croatian organizations in Southern California for years. Mike is a genuine good human being. Uh, he has not forgotten his roots, definitely a descendant of an immigrant family. He's honest, which I cannot tell about too many politicians all around the world. Uh, for those of us who have had the pleasure to serve in public office, following the example of Mike Antonovich is an example well followed. Michael, it is just an honor for me to be able to uh, just thank you for the years of friendship that you and I have had. Uh, you're kind of like a brother, uh, more than just a brother. I've been in your home. I've celebrated your success. I've witnessed some of your frustration. But more importantly, I'm somebody who has a great amount of respect for you and will always thank you for the great things you've done to keep the people of Los Angeles County safe. You're a mensch. Thank you. Michael, congratulations on the Lifetime Achievement Award. You've been a great friend. You've been somebody that I've always looked up to, and I'm really proud that you have this award. You deserve it. It's way overdue, and I wish you good luck in the future. Mike, I just have to say how proud not only I am, but I know the staff is on you being awarded this Lifetime Achievement Award. Um, you are a remarkable man. You're a great boss, but more importantly, you are an incredible friend. And I thank you for giving me the opportunity to work for you and to do so much good for the residents of Los Angeles County. Congratulations. Uh, congratulations. It's a wonderful honor that you're getting this evening, and I'm so glad that I can be a part of it. I love you. Congratulations, Uncle Mike. I love you very much. I'm very proud of you. Congratulations, congratulations. Uncle Mike. We love you. Congratulations, congratulations Michael. Michael. We love you. Yes, we do. Hi, love. We married 12 years you know, ago. I still feel you know, I met you yesterday. So I'm in my life, I'm so lucky to have you. So you are a best husband, good father. So very good friend for me too. I love you so much and congratulations. Congratulations, Daddy, on your award. Love you. <laughs> Mike Antonovich is a dedicated public servant who was born to give of himself and work for the greater good. He has represented his Croatian roots with honor and dignity and has given all Croatian Americans a reason to be very proud. And for that, the Croatian National Association is proud to honor him with a Lifetime Achievement Award.